Now onto the subject of reading greens and what does that even mean. And really all that means is there are very few dead flat spots like your kitchen floor on the golf course. So if you want to make this putt in one, other than having good speed and getting it close, if you want the line to be dialed in exactly, you have to figure out how much tilt is going on on this green. Is it, is it downhill? Is it uphill or left or right? And it doesn't take a great golfer to read a green. If you've got a good set of eyes and imagination, I've, got, I've been around plenty of first time golfers who can read greens great because they just get the concept of how things tilt and how this ball rolling would relate to that. So dad suggested that I might wanna, uh, at first for a non-golfer or a very, very beginning golfer is to look at this. And the best advice I ever got was from John Cook, my teammate at Ohio State and fabulous tour player. Because we struggle, you know, when the greens get really fast and there's two or three little things happening in there, you get a little crazy about what's gonna happen. And he said when he gets stuck like that, he likes to think of it in terms of, rather than look for break, look for what it is going to do, he pictures what would happen if you rolled the ball dead straight at the cup. If you just sent it on its way dead straight, where would it curve? So that's like the negative image of what's going on. So now, having done that, I can see that this ball is curving, you know, 15, 18 inches. If you can get that in your mind, then that's what you'd do with your putt. You'd go out here 15 or 18 inches on the left, and all of a sudden you've got something approaching the curve of what's gonna happen when you putt the ball. So that's a really basic, simple way uh, to think about big curves. And just so you understand, I'll, I'll drag a couple of these directly under the same hole, just to show you that it changes you know, you might have hit your ball over here and had this putt that breaks 18 inches, but the person you're playing with, their shot ended up over here, and all of a sudden they're looking and you're looking and this putt doesn't break. It's uphill, it's going up the same hill that this ball curved down, but this is a pretty darn straight putt. So you've gotta be willing to roll with it and understand where you are on the green. And I think you'll get it. It's kind of a feel thing. It's kind of like throwing a Frisbee. You'll get there.